all right what's up y'all welcome back to another video um it's saturday this is my secondary squat my secondary deadlift day um obviously the adductor's been giving me a lot of issues especially on squat um so me and joey talked we decided to call the audible we're going to be hitting like a heel elevated goblet squat um something that's just really quad dominant a ton of knee travel um and then obviously less hips and less adductors so we don't really want to like aggravate it at all today this is my last heavy week of training coming up like my last real week of training um yeah so we just want that adductor to be feeling as good as possible coming into this week i want to be able to push my deadlift a little bit um and last week in the last couple weeks i've literally only been doing two reds on barbell squats so it's not like i'm doing a ton of work anyways i might be able to get a little bit more working on the quads with this goblet squat um might push it to like 12 reps and just get like a nice pump in the quads so that's kind of the idea coming into today again want to get some work in and don't want to feel any pain or fatigue in this adductor like going into monday squat session so after that i'm gonna hit um sumo i got like some really light pause squats or pause deadlifts um again though if i'm feeling it on that i might just either switch to conventional or like an rdl or i might just call it all together and just skip them because i don't want to aggravate this this adductor any further um and then for the warm-up i know i showed you all my warm-up and i was doing like the the adductor machine uh, but I think I'm just going to get off of that completely and I'm just going to do the Cossack squats and I'm going to do the Copenhagen planks because both of those seem to help a lot before my deadlift day. Um, I really felt good on deadlift days, especially working with that top single. I mean, after that, it started getting a little more aggravated, but I think that's kind of the way to go now instead of the machine. The machine didn't seem to help as much as I thought it was going to. Um, so, yeah, that's what we got today. That's the goal of today's session. I'm going to eat this little muffin real quick, get about 70 more carbs in. I think it's 70. Let me see. 60 more carbs in on top of like the 110 or 120 I've already had. Um, and then we're going to get this session in. See you on side. Oh. Oh, all right. Already hit the knee warm-ups. And then I'm doing the Copenhagen's. I'm actually able to do these without like using my lower leg for assistance now. Um, so that's good. I feel like it's improving a little bit. It's actually helping. What I was gonna say was, um, I was thinking when I was doing my knee shit, I was like, I keep thinking that the Copenhagen's and the Cossacks helped me a lot on deadlift, but I also took 800 grams of like uh, ibuprofen that day. Not grams, milligrams. 800 mg of, of ibuprofen. So it's like, who really knows what was helping more? Um, but yeah, it's feeling good right now. I'm gonna hit the Cossacks, and then I guess we'll see today if it's if it's the exercises or the, the ibuprofen, because I didn't take anything today, so. I'm gonna hit one more of these. Hopefully no assistance again. Let's see. Woo. I wasn't able to do that, that with no assistance just like three or four days ago, so. Seems like it's improving a little bit. Like I said, no ibuprofen today, so it's just, this is just my body's natural response. Make these Cossacks like two sets and then get into this work. All right, y'all, hitting these goblet squats. Um, never, I haven't hit these in like months, so don't really know how heavy to start. I hit 50s for like a set of 10. Felt pretty good, the knees felt fine. Uh, moving up to 60s, I'll probably like two or three more sets. And I'm treating this like completely like a, like a bodybuilding movement. So like super controlled, small pauses at the bottom, trying to keep it as easy on my knees as possible, while also like not hitting the adductor at all, so. Worked all the way up to 80s. Uh, these like feel super nice. Like I've never really trained these consistently or anything, but it feels really good to like, I feel my quads more than I feel them on almost any, any movement, so. And like minimal knee pain with the control and the pause at the bottom. My knees are like a little tender, but I'm not actually getting pain. So obviously some of that's just cause the load is super low. I'm only using 80 pounds, but then also the control, but it just it feels nice though. So. This might be a movement I add in like consistently going forward after this meet. 
Alright y'all, gonna start warming up for deads. Feels like that's like, after doing those goblets, it feels like that's the first time I've actually trained my fucking quads. Like with my knee problems, it's like, it's always a struggle to hit my quads without like being in pain. And that's like the best, like quad hit movement I've ever hit. It feels like I did some new shit there. <laughs> like as if I invented some new shit, but it's like a basic ass goblet squat. <clears throat> but yeah, quads feeling good. The adductor, didn't feel the adductor at all. Right, that was the goal. A lot of knee flexion, a lot of knee travel, and then no, a lot less hips. So, <clears throat> accomplished the goal there, and then hoping I feel better on these days. <clears throat> all right, y'all, so worked up to three reds. I'm not really feeling adductor at all. Maybe like a one out of 10 on, on like two reds. Um, we're gonna see this either gonna be like the last build up set, and I'll just do all of them here, or we'll maybe work up to four reds. That's gonna be like the max though today. It's weird, like I feel it on the first rep and then after I start warming up, or like after I get used to the, the movement, I guess, I'm not feeling it at all on the second. So last single, I'm keeping here the whole time, 385 the whole time, super light, super easy on the adductor. Do a little extra good long pause for, for good measure. All right, last movement of the day, four by 10 on hamstring curls. Real similar to how I did the tricep extensions. I'm not gonna push them to that max effort. Not even the last set, I'm just keeping them all at a true RP7. Save the legs for these big squats and big deadlift this last week, so. All right, what's up y'all? Another productive session, um, got through it. We found a movement that I could really hit my quads and not hit the adductor. Um, I really wish we would have switched to it earlier. Like for me, I feel like this is like a game changer, right? Like this super elevated heel position. Um, obviously it doesn't have to be goblet squats. Like eventually, I'm thinking like post meet, we hit these as a goblet squat and then eventually we could transition into like a heel elevated like SSB. Just something with a ton of knee flexion, with way less hip flexion, hitting my quads, which is like a muscle group I feel like I don't get to hit that much. Um, like it's hard for me to train my quads really hard because my knees always act up. But if I could get through that full range of motion like that, even with the pause and just treat it more like strictly like a bodybuilding movement, not really worry about the weight I'm pushing, then I feel like that could be like a, a game changer, like really good movement for me. Um, obviously, like I said, it doesn't have to be goblet squat. It could be anything that's like ultra high heel with the with my, with the load kind of more in front of me, like an SSB. Um, I wouldn't really do front squats, but like a goblet squat, something like that. So um, yeah, just really good movement for me. Um, going forward, that's something we got to explore more. Um, and then obviously the sumo, I took it like super, super light, like 50% or whatever that is, or less than 50%, but um, just got some good movement in, took the adductor, like got a nice little stretch at the bottom, some range of motion, got some technique work. Um, yeah, so productive day. I feel really good. I feel confident coming into this next week that my adductor is not gonna hurt um, like it did in squatting last week. Um, and that's really what the goal has been, right? So this kind of just goes to show like, it would have been so easy. And like, I know this is world, so like I'm super invested, but like it would be really easy like when I'm feeling like I've been feeling the last like, cause this adductor shit has been going on for like six weeks. It's not like it just started. Um, and it would be really easy for me to just like pull out because I'm not healthy. You know what I mean? And just be like, and I feel like a lot of people would take this route. Like it's easy to just be like, all right, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna perform up to my best. And so like, I don't really wanna put myself out there like for people to see. Cause I don't know, like some people might think they might get embarrassed or like, I don't know. I just feel like it's an easy call to make, but I feel like this prep should show y'all like every prep's not gonna be the best. 
but like you could work through some shit and you could figure some shit out on the way, right? Like I started hitting the Copenhagen, I started hitting the Cossacks. Some shit I probably should have done a lot earlier, but like I did it and it's allowing me to get decent work in and allowing me to make it to the platform. And like, once you get to the platform, you never fucking know, especially like if you've been training as long as me and like you have like a really big base of strength build up. Like I never know what the fuck could happen when I get to the platform. Like I could have the best prep of my fucking life and then for some reason, maybe the peak don't hit right or maybe like my weight's off or maybe my sleep's off and I have a terrible meet. And I could have one of the worst preps of my life, which maybe I would consider this like one of the worst preps of my life. And I might get to the platform and feel stronger than I've ever felt. And maybe like my technique super dialed in that day and maybe my sleep was perfect and maybe all my rehydration is on point and I have the best meat of my life. So it's like, I don't know. I just feel like if you're going through this like me, like do not, do not give up and do not fucking stop trying to find a way to work through it. Unless you're like fucking destroyed and like a, a real, real injury. But if it's like this, like just some pretty like pretty bad pain, um, I don't know, just keep going. I've seen like so many examples of people making it to the platform and then having like really good performances or like doing enough to win. So that's kind of what I'm keeping in the back of my head. Um, I'm holding out hope that I can still have a really good day. Still not putting pressure on myself, but just kind of saying like, hey, anything can happen. We don't know. So let's just go out there and see. You know what I mean? And if I didn't, if I didn't go out there and compete, then I would never know if like I could have possibly showed up on the day and, and been strong. So yeah, that's really all I got for this video. Uh, I hope that little rant made sense. Uh, I'm going to go eat, chill, rest, edit some videos. Uh, like always, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.